Rescuers are racing to find potential survivors after a powerful earthquake struck in northwest China. The quake killed at least 131 people and injured hundreds more. Most of the deaths were in Gangsu province. Local media say more, more than tens of thousands of homes were damaged or destroyed. It's the deadliest earthquake to hit China in nearly a decade. As rescue workers race to find potential survivors, those who escaped with their lives face an uncertain future. I've never experienced something like this, and I'm 70 years old. I've never experienced such a big one. I'm afraid. Now I have no place to live. In my home, there isn't a single room left intact. I have no place to live. What should I do? The mountain provinces of Gansu and Qinghai are frequently hit by earthquakes. But this one was especially intense. Even hours later, heavy aftershocks prevented people from sheltering inside. With temperatures dropping to minus 15 degrees Celsius at night, emergency services have been scrambling to set up tents. Thousands of firefighters and rescue personnel have been mobilized to assist victims of the quake. But their job will remain difficult as power and water outages, as well as destroyed roads, complicate relief efforts. And we turn now to our correspondent, James Chater in Taipei. James, could you put the scale of this catastrophe into some perspective for us? Absolutely, Anthony. Well, we now know that this is the deadliest earthquake to strike China in more than a decade now. Some of the images we've seen coming out from social media and, of course, Chinese state media as well, just gives some sense of the level of destruction that we're seeing in this very um, mountainous, very remote region of China. We now understand more than 150,000 homes have been destroyed in this earthquake, and that's giving you some sense of the kind of level of destruction that this area is now facing. Um, of course, one of the key factors here is this very uh, harsh environment that rescue efforts are now taking place in. Some of the temperatures reaching kind of well below freezing at the time of the earthquake. And of course, that harsh weather has, has continued as the, re the relief efforts have, have continued. But just to give a sense of kind of the, the previous context of earthquakes in China, this isn't the deadliest one that we've ever seen in China. Of course, the deadliest in recent memory was the 2008 earthquake in Sichuan province which killed tens of thousands of people. Um, we're not at that level with this current earthquake, but of course those, those complicating factors, the, the remoteness of this location and the very, very cold weather are, are going to be raising concerns that the death toll could still rise further. James, just briefly, you talked about relief efforts. What actions are the Chinese authorities taking at this point? Well, as that report mentioned, of course, thousands of personnel have been sent into the affected areas. That includes uh, members of the fire department, emergency earthquake response um, personnel. Uh, Chinese state media also shows images of people who have been set up in these, these shelters, rows and rows of shelters. We understand hundreds of people have been um, uh, mm -hmm. spent the night in, in, those, in those tents. Um, and of course, there's uh, two million US dollars have been put in by the provincial government for the relief effort. The, the Chinese central government yesterday said some 35 million US dollars um, are, are going to be put aside for reconstruction efforts. James Chater in Taipei, thank you.